everyone. Welcome to this episode of Create Conversations. I'm very excited to be here today with Judy Minitri. She is from Catholic Charities Diocese of Trenton Fix-It Program. I had the opportunity to meet you over the summer, and uh, when we had the chance to talk over the summer, you mentioned this program, and I was super excited about it, so I wanted a chance to bring it to our community here in Brick to see who could maybe take advantage of it. So thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So how did you get involved with the Fix-It program? Well, I've been working with seniors for the past 20 years, and um, I I was home, retired, semi-retired, and uh, I needed to feel useful. So I started looking on Indeed, and I saw the ad for the position, and I applied. And it's perfect. It's a part-time position for me. And uh, I love seniors, and I love helping them. Mm-hmm. So I, I applied, and I got the job, and I love, I love doing it. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so this Fix-It program, I had a chance to look at the, well, the, the one flyer. And uh, I guess part of it is that you seniors can call in and get some minor repairs done to their home. So what are some of the repairs that they can ask for? Uh, they can ask for uh, grab bars. Okay. A lot of seniors are coming out of rehabs, so we have uh, physical therapists calling us and referring people to us to do oh, great. grab bars in the shower, around the toilet, um, and maybe even like near the garage door or Or if someplace. there's steps somewhere yeah. to yeah. have Any, to walk up to yeah, the door. To keep mm-hmm. them safe. Um, yeah. And uh, so that's a big request. Uh, others are changing light bulbs, mm-hmm. keeping seniors off of ladders. So yes. Like pre- fall prevention, right? Mm-hmm. Um, also, uh, let's see, smoke detectors. We check their smoke detectors, and we also have a partnership with American Red Cross where they give us free uh, replacement smoke detectors, oh, and we install those. We do minor, minor uh plumbing, Mm -hmm. and electrical work. We don't do anything that an electrician, a licensed electrician or plumber needs to be. Uh, We'd love to have those as volunteers, though. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that would be great. (laughs) That would be great. (laughs) Here is now. Yeah. Those people. (laughs) I I must say, though, um, one of the things that happened, I was, uh, I worked from home a lot of the time. So I, I was working from home, and I was going through my list of mayors in the whole county mm-hmm. that I was going to contact. And lo and behold, my doorbell rings, and it's Mayor Crate. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect timing for us, right? And, I and you said, have Crate with you, too. Yeah, and it was divine <laughs> intervention. I, I, I said, oh, my God, this is this is a miracle. <laughs> yeah, it was serendipitous. Like yes, that. It, I just it happened was. to ring the doorbell at the same right time. It was, and I, so I, yeah. I proceeded to, I don't, you came to my door for, um, mm-hmm. just to introduce mm-hmm. yourself. But I introduced you to the Fix It program. I had no idea it was here. So, and yeah. I told you immediately, this is something that we need to get out there and let our residents yes, know about. So absolutely. That was so perfect. Yeah, I love it. Absolutely. Um, we, you mentioned wanting to keep seniors off of ladders. So yeah. one of the things uh, I know that like I will not let my parents do because they're getting older too is like cleaning out their gutters. Is that something that we can that, ask for help yes, with Yes, that's something that we can do also. Okay. Um, small yard work, mm-hmm. uh, you know, trimming bushes and things like that we can do, mm-hmm. uh, depending on our volunteer bank. Right. You know, uh, everyone that volunteers doesn't do everything. So, okay. But we could use more volunteers that would do yard work and cleaning gutters and putting in grab bars and, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, simple tasks, yeah. right? And the volunteers don't, um, the commitment is uh, what they can do. It's not like uh, we say you have to work 10 hours a month or mm-hmm. anything like that. You make your own schedule with the uh, client. Oh, okay. So we give okay. you the information, you contact the client, mm-hmm. and then you work it out with them to go do the work. Okay, so you would, so then, yeah, it's not like a nine to five commitment or something. No, yeah. no, no, you make, you can work on weekends, you can work whatever's convenient for you and the client. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. That's good to hear. And, um, Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, well, you know, you mentioned, um, you know, minor electrical and plumbing. So when we say minor electrical, like maybe if somebody needs a plug changed out or is that included? Or what are we saying when we say minor electrical? Uh, maybe like changing a, a light switch yes. or okay. a light yep. bulb mm-hmm. or, or um, you know, in, I could say installing a, a fan, mm-hmm. maybe. Depending, uh, depending on the depending on the volunteer. Okay, yeah. Yeah. and same thing for plumbing. It would be like yeah, you like a, leaky, a new like leaky faucet yeah. or something like, like a that. washer yeah. or sure. something like that. Pipes and stuff like that. 
We no, no, no. You know, unless you're a licensed plumber and you yeah, want to yeah. do something. Yeah, yeah. If you want to volunteer, it will, <laughs> that'd be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who qualifies for this program? Say um, somebody calls up. What, what are the qualifications for that? Okay. We're, we're funded by the Ocean County Senior Services. Okay. Uh, we have a small grant for Older Americans Act from New York. Um, so anybody can call and ask for help, and we will help them. It's mm -hmm. just we have to prioritize the need okay. uh, uh, and who we help. Um, it's not by finances. Okay. It, oh, that's good to know. So, All right. Um, yeah. yeah. So we, we do help every, anybody that calls, uh, but it sometimes it's a two-week um, sure. Uh, time frame, maybe it's a little bit longer depending on what the request is. Okay, and this is for seniors though, right? Yes, We're talking 60 about... years and older. Okay, so yeah. 60 and older yeah. can call to in get Ocean assistance. In Ocean County, they have mm -hmm. to live. Oh, and you have to live in Ocean County. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, how do they contact Catholic Charities? Like what, can, is it a phone call? Or... Yes, uh, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a phone number, it'll be on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just call the number. Uh, our person, the other person I work with is Christine. She'll take the call and, and write up the work order mm -hmm. and then assign it to a volunteer. Oh, fantastic. It's, it's simple. There's a lot of questions that we have to ask for uh, statistics and, uh, you know, how old you are and mm -hmm. your birthday and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, but once you do that, then uh, we, as soon as we have somebody that can do the work, we have them call you and do the work great yeah. that's fantastic mm -hmm. so i just want to take a glance in here really quick I, i've noted in many other episodes that my fa my parents are seniors now so um you know i'm looking at the list of things that you've mentioned and it looks like really these are things you don't have to be a professional to do it's just regular stuff that you would do around your house anyway uh you know like you said installing a grab bar um I'm looking at here, uh, you said changing light bulbs and putting in smoke detectors. I see also in here like an installation of curtain rods and, yeah. and hardware or maybe like a shower curtain or things like that. So just things that it's harder for seniors to get done now that if they just had an extra set of hands to help with, would be able to do. Right. And yeah. what we're really trying to do is help them to stay in their homes as long as they can. Right. Because that's the goal for most of us. We want to stay in our home to where we're mm -hmm. comfortable, right? Right, and independent, and, yeah, right? And, and a lot of um, seniors are losing their spouses mm -hmm. uh, so that maybe that was the person that did the handyman things mm -hmm. for them. Uh, so it, it helps to keep seniors in their own homes. That's so nice to yeah, hear, I really yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, so you're looking for, you, you mentioned earlier, we're looking for volunteers. Yes. Right? So how does one volunteer? What do you have to do? Do you have to have qualifications? I know we didn't, you have to be a professional, but what do you have to do? You have to be willing to help a senior, mm -hmm. right? Um, and handy, being handy, yes, we, we would wish that you'd be handy, but there's other things that you can do. Like you can clean gutters if mm -hmm. you're not sure. too handy, if you're not skilled. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the word, I right. guess, yeah. skilled. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And there's, there are other things for seniors that you can do uh, that doesn't need you to be skilled. Right. But um, I would want you to have some experience and also a good heart and willing to help. You know? Yeah. Yeah, because a, uh, well, a lot of seniors, including myself, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you, you, sometimes you just want to be, uh, see somebody and talk to them. Of course. Right. Socialization is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Isolation is a big thing right. uh, for seniors now. So, you know, having somebody come that they can trust, because everyone that is a volunteer with us, they have to go through a fingerprinting process, right. uh, background checks. Mm -hmm. We make sure that everyone that is a volunteer uh, is cleared and safe for, for them to go into the home of our most vulnerable population, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, and the people I'm meeting and recruiting are, are beautiful hearted people. Oh, that's you know? so nice. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> yeah, it does. And you know, it's, you know, when you volunteer for something, yes, doing the actual job is something that's important, you know, uh, fixing the leaky faucet or whatever you're doing around the house to mm -hmm. help that senior. But I know that volunteer, when they leave, they're full. Uh, they, they're filled up with something else. It's right. not just, I did the job and I leave. You have that opportunity, like you said. Isolation is huge with our seniors right yes, now. And, yes. and the need to be able to socialize with people 
and some of our seniors can't get out, yep. you know, so mm -hmm. I think this is a good opportunity for people to not only fix some things around people's homes, but also to help seniors to feel a little less alone. Right. Yeah. And what we also do is we can identify other needs that they may have by having eyes on them, right? right? So uh, we have, you know, we try to gather up referral agencies mm -hmm. that will do other work that we won't do, you know, yeah. have partnerships with Habitat for Humanity mm -hmm. um, and a, a number of other organizations, uh, right. retired citizens, uh, RSVP, we work with, uh, we work with, we'll, we're looking to work with more. <laughs> right, that's great. Yeah, so, you know, we'll, so maybe you're in the house fixing a light bulb and you realize that, you know, uh, there's a hole in the floor or, yeah. the, you know, there's the, the tub doesn't work. You know, you can't pull the tub up the door or whatever the right. case is. Right. And then you can look out for other people to come in and help them. Right. So nice. Yeah. yeah. This is such a fantastic service. I'm so glad we had the opportunity yeah. to talk about it. Is there anything that I didn't touch on that you want to make sure we mention to people? Uh no, but if you're available and you have a few hours a month or a week right. and you want to help, please call me. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, it would yeah. be beautiful. I think so. I think maybe having this out there, people are, are looking for things and ways that they can help their community. And this is a very small, easy thing that people can do for just a couple of hours a month. So. Yes, and they don't have to be Catholic. Uh, oh, to, awesome. yeah, you know, anybody. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and sometimes you think it's Catholic charities, right? Sure, but we help everyone. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Helping each other is there is no boundary to that. I don't no, think so. No, no. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. If you are interested in volunteering for this program, please make sure that you reach out. You can call the number that we have up on the screen, and we're hoping to see lots of volunteers come out. And not only that, but have lots of our seniors in the area. Please make sure you contact Judy if you need anything done in your home, and we'll make sure that, uh, you know, you get back to them. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you. Us. Thank you. Have a great, great day. We'll see you at the next Craig Conversation.